If you've been following the store for some time now, you might be wondering, paano nga ba kami nakakabigay ng quote for a custom build? In this video, we're going to be talking about our philosophies naman when it comes to building custom PCs. We'll talk about our component choices, how we determine the best configuration for a given use case, and so on. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation, activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sudden depress ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com So for context, this is for our customers na totally wala pang parts in mind and they're building from scratch. We do get inquiries then about builds na very specific and we do our best to fulfill lahat yun as long as available sa suppliers namin. We start with two questions. Number one is kung ano yung intended na use case for the PC. And number two is ano yung target budget niya. These two questions are the most important kasi this will dictate kung saan mapupunta yung majority ng budget. In building PCs, the chunk of the budget usually goes to the GPU and the CPU. Our practice here in HWS is we build the PCs around these two components. Sa budget, that would determine anong tier ng components ang pwedeng makuha. Here in the store, we believe it's very important to maximize the budget. That means getting components na angkop or appropriate sa budget. We don't want to get an ultra high-end ROG X870 motherboard kung ang target lang na PC is only a 7600 CPU. That would work naman, pero that's such a waste of the budget. That goes for every component. So, isa pang example, while the 9800X3D is one of the best gaming CPUs out there, wala rin saysay kung mauubos niya yung budget. It would be better to go with a lower tier CPU and get a better GPU if gaming yung PC. Sa use case naman, that would determine kung ano yung priority between the CPU and the GPU and some of the other components. Most of the time, gaming PC ang hanap sa amin ng customer. So if that's the case, the majority of the budget will go to the GPU. If productivity, video editing, rendering, then sa CPU. However, sometimes it's not that straightforward then. For architecture firms, usually they need more CPU power. Pero minsan, it would depend din sa apps na they use. If they use something like Lumion, we recommend them getting at least a 4060Ti na may 16GB VRAM since the app requires it and then adjust the rest of the build. In essence, if the budget allows it and the component is justified by the use case, we can go with higher end and higher spec na options. Ang key concept however is still maximizing the budget available. Kasama na dito syempre yung pag-address sa possible bottlenecks, future proofing, etc. Ang medyo mahirap dito is that costs do add up quite a bit. For example, if you go with higher end components, almost always tataas din yung adjacent components niya. For example, if high powered CPU ang need, better motherboard and better cooling solution din yung dapat. And by better, that means more expensive. Ganon din sa GPU. Higher-end GPUs would usually entail higher-end na PSU as well as better cases then since malalaki kadalasan yung mga high-end na GPU. And examples lang yun. Now, with those two out of the way, the rest of the components would be somewhat easy to fill in na unless may specific na need. For example, we can know what PSU wattage would need since alam na natin yung GPU and CPU combo so may idea tayo doon sa power consumption nila. And basically, those two are the most power-hungry components sa PC. For RAM, it's a matter of how much you need for the use case, but usually 32GB na yung standard nowadays. For the SSD, ganun din, just a matter of how much you need and unless magtitipid, we go with an SSD with a DRAM cache. Now, of course, we won't just look at the specs, but rather pati yung models and brands. For this, ang pinakamagandang resource, 
would be to look at reviews or in our case, yung experience namin with previous builds. It's better to hone in muna dun sa general na component na you would need. So for example, in your research, okay na sa use case mo yung 5070 na GPU. Then after nun, you should look at reviews of different models and brands. We also do that dito sa Hardware Sugar with the addition of our testing then from our previous builds. So meron kaming confirmed and first-hand na testing and results so we'd know what to expect. Now, ito, dito na talagang magbabago lahat. Now, pagdating sa aesthetics, yung budget talaga ang magdedictate niyan. If you like a certain color theme, form factor, or design, magdedepend din yung overall na cost ng component doon. Pero similar lang yung performance nila. It's not to say naman na pag low and pangit automatically yung aesthetics ng PC. There are budget options out there that would still give good performance while still looking great. Example na dito is yung stuff from Deepcool, Montec, and even yung mga budget offerings ng MSI and some other brands, maganda na rin yung itsura pero okay pa rin yung price and performance. Now, with this plus your own research sa reviews, you should end up with a decent build with good price to performance ratio. And that's ultimately what we want to achieve most of the time. Minsan, we come across customers that have seemingly unlimited budgets and we do get great flexibility in terms of what we can configure for them. But that doesn't mean that it's okay to waste money. We still want to end up with a justified build. Well, so, you know, too long of a video, did not watch. Ito yung summary niya. Number one is determine your use case. Number two, determine your target budget. Number three, adjust the build accordingly. Prioritize components to your needs. Number four, and this is very, very important, research reviews for specific model and brands. Tapos finally, just beware of creeping costs to address aesthetics, future-proofing, and going high-end. So I hope na this is somewhat helpful for you and kind of gives you an idea on how we go about specking custom builds. Siyempre, hindi naman yan yung end-all, be-all. Of course, maraming communication yan and back and forth between the customer and us. Ang importante dito is that we give options. And yung mga binibigay naming options, nagde-depend yun, siyempre, dun sa available ba sa supplier. And more importantly, kung maganda ba yung component na i-recommend namin. And that would be based on our experience, yung sa mga nakita na namin na reviews, and also do sa mga previews na builds namin. And that kind of sets apart yung mga PC stores in general, or at least yung hardware sugar, because as much as possible, gusto ka namin na makatipid. Or hindi makatipid in the sense na konti lang yung dapat mong i-spend, but rather kung magsispend ka ng money, dapat napunta yun dun sa worth it na component. So, bumili ka ng mahal, so may experience mo kung bakit siya mahal. That could be sobrang ganda and sobrang beastly no rig mo. You can run any game on 4K at very high frames per second. Or ma-address niya lahat no kailangan mo sa work mo. Kahit CPU or GPU intensive siya. Yun yung gusto namin. So, we hope na this helped you out in your search for your custom build. And if you want to avail from us, message us on Facebook and we'll be happy to give you a quote. Thank you for watching.